just like in the middle of the city square co goes behind the corner and then a wolf comes out. <laughs> I mean, it's a better disguise than Spider-Man's. Yeah, true. I am a connoisseur of um, questioning superhero transformation situations. Yeah, it's ridiculous and I love it. Yeah. I, you can tell, like, there are shows that have given up on it. Then there are shows that try very hard and fail because it's pretty impossible in the modern day. Yeah, I personally, you... Personally, I think you have to, like, recognize that there are aspects of superhero media that are in ridiculous. No. And just, like, fucking go with it. Was that there the whole time? What is that? Ice cream? Probably. I'm guessing ice cream. I'm good at climbing. But yeah, um, in Miraculous Ladybug, they ju they've just given up. They just. They just transform and nobody sees, and that's it. I've seen people do like I know nothing about that show, but I've seen people play charts of the characters, and every time I go, what the hell is going on in here? Uh, it's it's a lot. It certainly seems to be. Like there's the whole deal with the main characters being in love with the like other person of the person, but not the other. And then there, they have more personas. Like in one episode, uh, the the boy gets this the snake power. The boy gets the snake power, you say? <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> tell me more. And um, he he is in love with Ladybug, and Ladybug, the girl, is in love with the boy who got the snake power. But the snake power boy doesn't know that the Ladybug girl is also the classmate that he is friends with who has a crush on him. You certainly just said words. There's also an episode or two with the, the banana. I mean, I'm not strong enough for this. I watch it completely for the absolute absurdity of some of the stuff that happens. It's delightful. Mm. This guy's pants are low. Fashionable. Pog. Who voices the weird old man? How old is he? Uh, 69. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know, you've had the old men, maybe I, I could. Yeah, okay. I would love to hear it. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Link, is it? You do know Telma, don't you? I've been talking to the wrong people all day. <laughs> you do know Telma, wait, I already said that, sorry, I haven't taken my memory medication. I am Auru. I am part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. I have heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Asterling? This would be very awkward if you didn't. The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in their prison. Now that prison is condemned, and even the road leading to the desert is impassable. This desert, at world's end, it still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place, so I have come to learn the truth 
Master Link, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own two eyes. Yes. Oh. Ah, yes, that's so. Then let get let that good old Auro help you out. See, like Hylia below us, a man named Fire runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. We we got the old man's paper. Hooray! See, long ago I saved this man Fire's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to Fire, I should go well. Is he gonna shoot you in the desert from his cannon? Seems like it. <laughs> Links, go! <yo! laughs> oh, imagine you tell like a kid, like, go take this paper to the clown, and he just jumps <laughs> off the, the tower and swims away. He gets there and the paper is also again, he has to get him. <laughs> Master Link. <laughs> and this is all shown from like Aurus' perspective. <laughs> It's like 45 minutes of Link just swimming across the lake. Let me up. Let me up. Look, there's a bird. That's a bird. I'm a human. I'm plum. But I don't need to talk to humans. Goodbye. What about the puppy? Well, probably, but I... Well... If Midna lets us transform here, then we can talk to the bird. Oh, okay, the clown is an important yeah. NPC. Clown counts, counts as a human. Yes. Hey, you're back. <laughs> so, Fela, I guess you like the right, huh? Well, the bear be the fantastic Asian. The height of excitement, the thrill of launching to the heavens, the very peak of flying fantastication. It can be yours, fella, for a limited time only, and without waiting in line, it's a paltry ten rupees. What do you say, buddy of mine? Wanna give it a shot? Oh, oh that's too bad. It's fun. You should try it. What if I tried... Uh, uh, this... It's in his face! <laughs> it's directly in his eyeballs. It's still formal that I can't read. <laughs> oh well, I guess I ought to do what the old coot says. Always is flight, right? So here you go. One of our secret options not available. General public. These times will be it for, so what do you say? You wanna go? Let's go! Alrighty then, but remember next time you gotta be. Does he have a bullet pill, pill on his shoulder? Yes, and it's iconic. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis. Fire in the hole! I guess you could say that the rear wasn't protected. You could, but you don't have to. But I already did. I guess you did. He looks so miserable. Well, now he's vibing. <laughs>